welcome in PLC Smart Tips video. In this video we show something about cross references. So for example, you have some program and I don't know, we go to the FB function block motor and here you can see when you start the motor you turn on circuit breaker and ATC. So for example, when we want to know where we use, uh, for example, static variable motor turn it on in our program, you just click on it, you make a right click and click on the cross reference information. And here you can see where you use this static variable. So how we can see, you use this static variable in function block number two in the network number three. So we go to the network number three and here is it. And here you can see the access for this uh, variable is writing to this variable. And also you can see the patch where is this function block situated in your program blocks and the structure and hierarchy of your program. Okay, so also we see we have <coughs> We read this variable in the function block number one with the name main. So we go to the network number five. You just click to the reference location link. And as you can see, now we are in the network number five of the function block number one main. And here we see we read this tag. <coughs> And it's the same like uh, we see in the access. Same, you can go, I don't know, to the DB number two motors. And here you click on the motor, turn it on. And same, you go to the cross reference information. And here you can see the same information like you like when you click in the function block on this variable. But also don't forget, this works only when you use the symbolic name of the text and the symbolic access to the text. So for example, here you can see, we have <coughs> data box number four with the name signals. And here we have the motor RPM variable. And this variable is of the data type double integer, but for example, you use only the first wor word of this double integer where you write the motor RPM. In this example is 1600. And here you can see when the circuit breaker for the motor is turned it on, then you write the RPM value to the, sec to the first word of the variable motor RPM and there is the problem so when you use it like that you have a problem to use cross references where you use the motor RPM tag look at that you click on it click on the cross references and you don't see any references to this variable this is why it's better still use normal symbolic access to the variables. Also here you can see there is no cross references. So when you want to find where you use this variable in your program, there is a problem because you can't find it. You must uh, go to the program and search for it. For example, we want to try search where is the, <coughs> where is the MU instruction where we set the zero RPM of the motor. So the only way is only searching in the program. And how we can see here, when circuit breaker is turned off for the motor, then we set the zero RPM for the motor's RPM variable. So don't forget, still use the symbolic access because this can may cause the problems to to read your soft your program and to find 
the variables in your programs. So thank you for watching this video and goodbye.